One of the hardest things to get is that when you're selling your house, it, it needs to look much different than it normally does. You don't want your potential buyers to see you in the house. You want them to see themselves so they will buy it. You're selling the house, not yourselves. Here are five mistakes I see all the time, and they're all easy to fix with very little money. I'm Rob Hundley with the AZ Realty by Rob Team from Asher Kime Real Estate. I post lots of content about real estate tips and tricks and the Phoenix market in particular. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. Tip number one, decor on top of kitchen cabinets. Sure, when you live in the house, fake plants, plates, pictures, all knickknacks, all look great up there. But when selling, these items bring the feel of the ceiling down. People love height, so anything you do that minimizes your soaring ceilings diminishes the house's value. Two, while we're in the kitchen, which is the biggest selling point of any house, cluttered countertops. Again, when you're cooking and living there, you want things in easy reach on the counter. But when selling, accentuate the expansive countertops. Clear everything off, yes, even the paper towel holder. I suggest sellers buy laundry baskets so that they can use it to easily prep the house when there's, there's a showing. Number three, personal photos. I know this one sounds strange, but trust me on this. The thinking is that when potential buyers see your photos, they see you in the house. When those triggers aren't there, they have a much better chance of seeing themselves in the house. Also for you, the main focus of the photos is, well, you. For others, they see an incoherent hodgepodge of settings, colors, events that mean nothing to them. It can be distracting to the point of remembering only the photos and not the house. Number four, naked comforters on beds. Dress up all the beds. It will have strong impact on buyers. A duvet cover, a tasteful quilt, God help me, even some throw pillows. Just know that a plain comforter isn't enough. Number five, random rugs. Now, I get it. We all want a soft rug underfoot when washing dishes, or the dog needs a rug by the back door. But trust me, random rugs, especially smaller ones, make the overall house, as well as the rooms that they're in, feel smaller. Besides, people want to see your flooring, so clean it up and show it off. Here's a bonus tip. This one may cost a little bit. Bold, bright colors. Styles come and go, and with them, bold, bright wall colors. Buyers see them, and all they can talk about is the god-awful Pepto-Bismol pink little girl's bedroom, or the burgundy family room. Your realtor can tell you if your colors are too much. A coat of paint or two may be just the touch your house needs from going from second place to sold. Need some help staging your house? Let me know. I'm happy to help. Thanks for watching.